We're hitting up three national parks in one weekend. This is White Sands National Park. This is the second video in a three-part series. If you missed the first video where we went to Carlsbad Caverns, I'm gonna link that in the description bar below. We continue our New Mexico trip here at White Sands National Park. And after we're done at the dunes, we're gonna head over to Las Cruces and see if we can get some good food. So come along with us to New Mexico. So from the visitor center, you just take, I think it's called Dunes Road or something like that. It goes in about eight miles, and then obviously to come back out would be another eight miles. So really you're looking at 16 miles of drive time if you just wanted to drive it. If you don't want to get off into the dunes, or maybe if you've got mobility issues and are in a wheelchair, they do have these kind of boardwalk areas that you can get out into the dunes and look out over the basin. And there's a few little sitting areas here as well in case you need to take breaks. One of the signs that we read said that there's only a handful of gypsum dunes throughout the world, and this is the largest, and even astronauts can see it from space. Another plaque we read said that they filmed one of the Transformers movies here. White Sands Missile Range regularly conducts missile tests. When this happens, the park is closed for up to three hours. I'll put a link in the description below so you can check the schedule and make sure it's not gonna interfere with your visit to White Sands National Park. When you first come in, if you'll hit up the visitor center at the entrance, you can get one of these little red sleds. They're about 25 bucks for a new one. If you get the really early in the morning, you can get a used one for like $16. Um, you can take it home with you. I mean, essentially you've purchased it or if you don't need it like we don't, take it back up to the visitor center before you leave and they'll give you a free koozie. Be sure to bring your stamina because a big part of coming to White Sands is hiking uphill and sliding back down and hiking up the hill and sliding back down. Whoa. People, people have attempted it? Okay, that's not that bad. Also, when you get your sled, don't forget to get some wax so you can go fast. This is a new non-caloric silicon-based kitchen lubricant that my company's been working on. It creates a surface 500 times more slippery than any kitchen cooking oil. Ah, uh, we're really gonna fly down the hill with this stuff. Has anyone ever used this on a sled? Not that I know of, Jeff. Later, dudes. <laughs> Hello. The thing about White Sands National Park is it's not actually sand, it's gypsum. The mountains contain gypsum and it's soluble, kind of like sugar or salt. So when it rains, the gypsum in the mountains dissolves and it comes down here into the basin where it can't escape because there's nowhere for the water to go. And then when the water evaporates, you get gypsum that's like sand. <laughs> You're almost there. You're almost to the fast part. There you go. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Scattered throughout the dunes are all of these picnic areas where you can bring your family out here. There are various areas to kind of pull off and do your camping. These same areas have places to go to the bathroom and barbecue. Also be mindful what time of year you visit because we're here in February and it's only 52 degrees, but I'm gonna tell you, this bright sun is beating off this white sand just like snow and it makes it feel a whole lot warmer out here, especially once you get to climb in these dunes. <laughs> if you have kids, they're going to fit just fine on this, but when you're a big kid, you have to like 
tuck your legs up off the ground and really uh, kind of balance yourself in the middle where you won't be able to get going. Don't forget, we got in here without having to pay any additional money with our America the Beautiful National Parks Pass. I know I talk about it in every single video that we do where we go to a national park, but it's 80 bucks all year long. Visit the national parks as often as you want to, and it's good for everybody in your car. You're all getting in for that one price of that one card. We're on the highest hill that we can find over here, so I'm gonna try to go down this one. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> there are areas out here where you can walk some trails if you're into that. So we're going to step out here into the Alkali Trail. We're not going to walk the whole thing because I think it's five miles, but we'll go out here a little bit and see what it's all about. If you're going to come on any of these hikes though, they do basically insist that you bring lots of water and really be mindful of the time of year and how hot it is because even if it's only 85 degrees, these trails are not flat and it's walking in what is essentially like sand. So it's going to be very hot, very tiresome and very strenuous. They do give you a map when you check in at the ranger station, so be sure to carry that with you as well so you don't get lost. And when you're on the trail, be very mindful of these markers that you have here because this is probably going to be the only thing telling you which direction the trail goes. Just like Carlsbad Caverns, White Sands National Park really could be as long or as short of a venture as you want it to be. I can see a lot of people coming out here for maybe a couple of hours, but there are a lot of people that have come out and brought their tents and brought food. They've got birthday parties, they're playing cornhole and really making either a day or a whole weekend out of it. Las Cruces is the perfect place to get a bite to eat and lay your head after a full day at the dunes. We decided to check out Habanero's Fresh Mex for dinner. Online it got such good reviews and we really liked that it was more of a Tex-Mex type of flavor. Lots of patio seating. It's very cozy on the inside and has such a cute aesthetic. Okay, I've gotten our food. Actually, I have two bags. There's one in my other hand that you can't see. I think we are going to take this back to the hotel and show you what we got. I got a couple of things off the menu that I didn't tell you about. Neither of which I think are gonna surprise you. Think desserts. Uh, tres leche. Close, but no. Dos leche? No. <laughs> oh no. Leches. <laughs> Un leche. Uh, so ding, 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 that's one of the two. No. I'll tell you when we get to the hotel. Ooh, that is a bad angle. Where are your mics even on? I had thought about getting the mole before this, but then Jeff told me that in New Mexico, green chilies is more their thing. So this is the chicken flautas, and underneath the chicken flautas is a green chili sauce. And then it's topped with sour cream, guacamole, beans, and rice. Jeff decided to start out with carne asada fries. Jeff's entree is chicken and rice, so roast con pollo. Don't butcher me for my accent. Um, it does look like it's got zucchini maybe in it and sour cream on the side. Of course I can't eat Mexican food without chips and salsa. Green chili con queso. And then for dessert, because I cannot resist, I got an order of sopapillas and I love flan. The green chili sauce with the flautas has a little kick. It definitely has just like, not for just a second, but just a little kick. So far, all this food we've tried, tastes delicious. I like the green chili con queso. It's unexpected, but I really like it. 
Okay, so I guess that's where we're gonna end this video today. If you've made it this far, please hit that thumbs up button. It really helps. And be sure to subscribe because our next video, hopefully, will be us climbing the highest peak in Texas, which is Guadalupe Peak. So you don't wanna miss that. Let me know down in the comments below if you've been to White Sands National Park, uh, you know, what you thought about it. And then also let me know if you've been to Guadalupe Peak because it wasn't one that I'd heard of before this year. And I'm very interested to how many people have actually visited. So anyway, other than that, I hope to see you at the next video and we'll see you later. So come along with us to your next We're gonna walk back up here and do it again. Cause I don't know my words. Words are hard. It's bright. It's so bright. Also, when you get your sled. <laughs>